Thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Dale. This channel is Flippin' Fiasco. And today I have two Thread Up DIY designer boxes. My first and only two designer boxes that I got recently have been profitable for me. So I was super excited when I saw that these were available and I managed to snag four of them. Two have arrived and I can't wait to take a look so I'm not making the same mistake I made before in taking a peek and then never getting around to filming. I'm going to film the unboxing. So I have two boxes from two different locations. This one is from Phoenix, Arizona and this one is from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. So first we're going to do the Arizona box. I'm gonna be so disappointed if they aren't as good as my first uh, box. Here we go. First look. <laughs> okay, so we have a wallet that's orange, very soft, um, super soft. It is Bottega Veneta, made in Italy. And um, I'm not seeing any major issues. There's another tag, if you can see that. It, does, it doesn't wanna, okay. So anyway, yeah, it has this um, crisscross pattern and it is, yeah, like a, a red orange kind of color. Very nice, the zipper works buttery smooth. So I don't know anything about this brand. I'll put some information on the screen. Next, we have some Prada um, thong sandals, but I'm a little confused about the backs. Um, hmm. So yeah, they're, they have been well worn. Um, what, what is that? Like, what is, what is that on there? It looks like a tap. So, hmm. They're a seven, uh, 37 and a half. I can just make it out on this one. Um, I mean, the tops look great. It's just the soles are looking a little worse for the wear. So, we'll see what they go for. Ooh, look at these sexy heels. They are Gucci, but look at that stiletto. Okay, and this one um, is like gone. It's all the way down, but this one's not in terrible shape. You can see what I mean there. Um, and they had these on the bottom so that they didn't skid around. Um, they are 41C. And they might be worth getting repaired. Um, because again, like the tops look like they're in very nice condition. Um, even the toes don't look terrible. The backs, let me see. Yeah, I mean, the toes aren't awful. And I just got that leather touch-up kit that I could touch those up and they'd be great. So we'll see. We have another pair of shoes. These are very small Burberries. And they're a wedge espadrille with the signature check. And they don't look to be in terrible condition. They are just really tiny. They're a size 36 made in Spain. So I'm happy about that though. Next, we have a very small piece of clothing. It is undecipherable. I don't know what this says. Um, and it's an extra small. Do you know what that is? Let me see if there's another tag. Oh, it's like silky down here. I was not expecting that. Um, let me see. Do I see another tag? 
Yes, right here. This, oh, it's also Burberry. Um, and it is virgin wool, 90%, 10% cashmere. So a nice Burberry, very lightweight um, cowl neck sweater with that little satin trim. Very nice. And our last piece, oh, a hoodie. <laughs> Get out. You see the bottom opening ceremonies. Opening ceremony. Let's see what this is. Oh, that's the brand. I did not know opening ceremony was a brand. Uh, established 2002. Oh, I'll show you what I was looking at. And let's see, here's here's the other tag. And does it have a size? I feel like it's a decent size. It's 100% cotton. Um, just a black hoodie with detail at the sleeves at the cuffs and around the bottom. Um, I'm not seeing a size, but I think maybe a medium, maybe. So yeah, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's just get seven things. It is supposed to be seven things. Am I missing something? One, two, three, four, five, six. I am not seeing a seventh item. I will tell you though, in the past, Thread Up has been very good when um, I've reached out to them with issues with the boxes. So we'll let them know about that. It's really hot in my house because we turned off the AC. Apparently it wasn't quite time. <laughs> All right, so next we have Mechanicsburg. And I mean, if there's seven pieces in here, I think they win. <laughs> they were kind of given an easy win here. But let's see. I think that my previous two were both from Mechanicsburg. Um, Well, that's what they forgot in my last one was a long chomp bag. So this time I got a pink, small, long chomp bag. And this one, the corners are not too bad. So that's shocking. But yeah, it's, it's definitely the small size. Um, I don't see any issues though, which is fantastic. Yeah, looks good. Got the... The long chomp zipper pull and the horse there. So I think all is good there. Here we have Adam Lippis. I'm not familiar with that. Um, but a pair, or no, it's a, a long pencil skirt. And let me see, I think it's linen. It's a size zero. 95% um, wool, 4% EA, 1% PA. And the lining is 100% silk. So a tiny little pencil skirt. Next. We have this fun pair of shoes. Are these Golden Goose? They are. So Superstar Golden Goose. So yes, they look like they're used, but that's how they look brand new. So I would say the condition on these is excellent. Excellent. And they are a size, it says for skateboarding use only, not designed for other activities. Um, what's the size? 
Let me see, here's the other one, also in same condition. I'm pretty excited about these guys. Uh, I don't know what the size is. Oh wait, what just says R? Um, anybody know how, like where they put their size? So I'm gonna need help, but they are, that's a win, that's a big win in my opinion. Now we have a pair of Prada loafers. Um, look to be in nice condition. Holy crap, they look brand new. Like look, there's still a sticker there. That's crazy. That's just a little dirt that'll come right off. Wow. Okay, what size are these? Okay, again with the size. I don't see it on the bottom either. Could they be fake? They wouldn't be fake, would they? Because I feel like they would say like made in Italy with a size on the bottom. But I'm not seeing any indication of size. So, fingers crossed that those are authentic. Over here, we have another little pencil skirt. Sure, it's a size extra small. This is Sandro. And yes, size one. <laughs> and it is made of <laughs> Wool and cashmere, 91% wool, 9% cashmere. So a long pencil skirt in like, yeah, a wool and cashmere, it's like a sweater, like a sweater skirt. <laughs> Next, a fancy blouse from Alexander McQueen. I'm sure this is a tiny little thing. Um, so button detail all the way down the back and let's see what this content is or anything. Oh, who cuts a tag out of a designer item? I hate you. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I'm sure it is a small, I feel like this is going to be a specialized item. It takes the right buyer. And last, we have a pair of Miu Miu booties, perfect for this season. So a little worn, um, this one looks a little more worn, but I think with some Doc Martens Wonder Balsam, they will spiff right up. There's the bottoms, they have buckles there, and they're size 37. Um, some heel drag, so they're definitely used, um, but I'm sure somebody will still appreciate being able to own a pair of Mew Mews at a reduced price. So that's one, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six. Seven. Okay, so I do think that the Mechanicsburg box was my favorite because of those golden goose and the Mew Mews. And the Long Chomp doesn't have issues. So tell me what you think. If you see anything that you're interested in purchasing for yourself, you'll email me, dale, at flippinfiasco.com. Thank you for being here, and I'll catch you next time.